they see something, whether it's reported, because there are definitely groups that work on reporting a particular post or a particular page or a particular person, and Facebook blocks you. You get a box that says, uh, you have been blocked for this content. Now, sometimes they don't even tell you why you've been blocked. I've been blocked for posting a story about Norway, a news story. A page of mine, for example, Islamic Jew hatred, it's in the Quran, was removed for a photo that I ran. It was an actual photo taken by a colleague of mine, Pamela Hall, of a Muslim at an anti-Muslim, at an anti-Israel protest with a sign that said, death to the Jews. And it was spelt like orange juice. Now, mind you, that this uh, uh, Muslim who was holding the sign turned out uh, to be a jihadi, and he's now serving 20 years for uh, a plot to kill U.S. soldiers. Why am I telling you that? Because that photo was his profile picture. So hmm. he was allowed to have it as a profile picture on Facebook, but my page, Islamic Jew Hatred, ran it to show, to actually demonstrate an example of Islamic Jew Hatred, and the page, which had upwards of 15,000 members, was removed. Now, this happens all the time. In the wake of the Orlando uh, Jihad shooting at the gay nightclub, the Pulse nightclub, three hours after I started reporting on the uh, jihadi and that he was yelling out of the bar and that he had called 911 to pledge allegiance to the Islamic State, my page, Stop Islamization of America, was taken down and I was blocked. And it was only because it became a news story, an international news story, the Daily Mail, Russia Today, Israel National News, that they were, there was public pressure to uh, reinstate the page, which they did. But I got to tell you something. Since we filed this lawsuit yesterday, I have received hundreds of emails with people explaining various um, uh, examples of their page being taken down, they're being blocked just for sharing a post of mine or for sharing a news story. The fact is, the federal government authorizes Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to censor anti-Islamic speech. That's what they call it, anti-Islam. It's, it's Sharia. Section 230 gives immunity to Facebook, to Twitter, and to YouTube. And they permit these social media giants to engage in government-sanctioned censorship and discriminatory business practices. And that's why we're suing uh, Loretta Lynch, the Attorney General of the United States of America. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.